Hey, what's up, everybody? So I was at my local coin shop today just to have a chat. Um, I was in the area, so I popped in. And sometimes when you're there, you find out about certain things that you had no idea about. And this here is one of them. Thought I would shoot a video on this. Um, looked pretty interesting. So this is a 2020 one ounce Australia Berlin World Money Fair coin. Brennenberg Gate Kookaburra three nines fine silver and i had no idea about this coin i have not heard about this from anywhere except for when i was in my local coin shop today so i thought i would pass the information on we are looking at lpm this i have not found this coin yet available anywhere else there is another pre-sale or actually it's not even i don't but i don't believe the pre-sale has even started for this coin yet but this is available it looks like for $33.50 uh, USD and credit card PayPal $35.26 from LPM. Um, and of course, this is the, the reverse. The obverse has, as always, uh, the Queenie on there. Um, the old Queenie, not the new Queenie. It's the, uh, the old Queenie design. And, um, but... Here's the details. One ounce silver frosted uncirculated finish 2020 World Money Fair release. Reverse features a kookaburra sitting on a branch looking at the Brandenburg Gate. Limited mintage of only 5,000. So that's interesting. Now, the downside of it is it's not a Perth Mint coin. Um, it is the Royal Australian Mint. So for those who are, you know, huge kookaburra collectors, the fact that it's not a Perth Mint kookaburra coin might be a turnoff to, to a lot. I'm not sure if I'm going to get into picking these up. Now, the, the mintage Judd does seem low. Um, who knows? This is not guaranteed something that you're going to be able to flip. I don't really get into the whole flipping thing. I buy a coin if I like it. Um, this one here, I'm not too sure I'm going to pick one of these up, to be honest. Um, I just, I'm not too crazy about the design. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about the mintage, about the design. I'm just not too, I'm not too crazy about this design. If it was a Perth Mint coin, I might take a chance of buying a couple of these. Um, but uh, to me, the, the, the design is just not that great. It's not that good looking of a coin. And for me, if I'm going to buy a coin for this much of a premium, I have to buy a coin that I like, and I'm not too sure I like this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, I did see it. The other place where I did see it is right here. We are looking at, at GovMint.com. I did not see it on Modern Coin Mart, even though GovMint basically owns uh, Modern Coin Mart, or Modern Coin Mart owns GovMint, whichever the case may be. Um, but this here, it says this item will be available to ship on February 12th, but it does not look like it's available to purchase yet. So it might be coming available on the 12th, but it is going to cost a little bit more money on GovMint is $42.95 for a credit card or $41.69 for a wire. Um, and I have not seen this anywhere else. I've been looking. I'm not seeing this anywhere else. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Definitely in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. Are you tempted to buy one? And for me, I just think I'm going to stay away from this coin. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Well, you know what? Before we go, let's go take a look at eBay real quick and see if there is any of these on eBay ebay hold on one second well actually never mind i'm not seeing any on ebay so that's that's that so anyway thanks a lot for watching please like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think and i'll talk to everybody on my next video thanks a lot everyone